Okay, good morning. It is uh, almost 10 o'clock. I'm just leaving the hotel, heading for a town called uh, 100 Mile House, strange name, to my first accommod second accommodation called Lakewood Inn. And it is Turn just left, five, Street. five and a quarter hours from here. I'm trying to make my life uh, complicated. So I've got Navman working and I've got my phone on Google Maps. So hopefully they'll both agree in where we're going to go. So five and a quarter hours drive. It is sort of a little bit cloudy. It's about six degrees at the moment. I'm heading for where I'm heading. It is uh, minus six degrees. So it'll probably warm up by the time I get there, hopefully. Every so often you get these uh, block of, I don't know whether they're flats or units, but they're all identical. All in a row. And then you get another block, which are exactly the same, but different. And then you get another block, exactly the same, but different different to the other blocks of flats if you know what I mean that's what you call a packed recycle truck so here we are getting onto our first highway and both Navman and Google Maps are agreeing which is a good start British Columbia and 500 meters at exit 13 the first disagreement Google said turn right and that one said go straight. Don't know who's right yet. There's one big bridge. It's like our West Cape Bridge. Everybody's speeding. It, it's, the speed limit is 80. I'm doing 80 and everybody's passing me. First sign of snow. At least it's not on the road. So Google Maps says four hours, th four hours forty-eight, and that man says four hours thirty-one. So somebody's wrong. Straight ahead to the U.S. border. Uh, that's not where I want to go. There's a bit of the countryside. Exit right, then turn left onto Highway 1 East, Cash Creek. Then keep left. They're both agreeing. That's a good sign. Down to snow. It's raining initially, now it's snowing. So we just reached a point where the traffic stopped. Don't know whether it's an accident or what. Um, just have to wait and see. They're anticipating a long stop. The kids are getting out. The guy's going for a whiz. Which I wouldn't mind. I am be game to get out though. So this is emergency food only to be eaten in the case of an accident or if you're stuck on the highway so that's what it says on the back anyway so since I'm stuck on the highway I guess I'm gonna have to eat it 
It is really nice. Full of calories. I mean, full of um, nutrients, antioxidants. Extremely good for you. Looks like we're moving again. Get to see what the hold up is. So Google just told me there's an eight minute slowdown because of construction ahead. But I'm still on the fastest route. And thank you Google, that's very informative. Navman's given up, gone to sleep. Says bugger this. Save my battery. All these people going for whizzes. I did one myself, but I can't get off the car. Traffic's moving. The other side moving. Hurry up, lady, you better hurry up. <laughs> Back on track. Finally moving again. So I've almost wasted an hour. So instead of getting there at 3.30, now we're going to get there at 4.30. There's a speed trap ahead. Oh, okay. I don't think I'll be speeding. Avalanche area, next six kilometres. Or maybe, maybe there's been a road slide or something. An avalanche. According to Google, we're just about to hit the red zone. Which is the avalanche area. That's the top of the hill. So the car's going right up the top of the hill as far as you can see and beyond. One heavy truck allowed on bridge at any one time. One lane bridge. One lane bridge. You can see this is a, an avalanche prone area. Lots of netting. So this is the one lane bridge. God, do you think they could afford making two lanes? Scabby lot. But that's not what's causing the delay. There's only one lane. Oh, it's only a one way road. It's a bit rude. That looks like the, the other road is um, kind of falling, falling away. Maybe that's the problem. They're reconstructing it. Which means they've um, have stopped the traffic. Must be. See, this is one-way traffic now. Look at that big truck in front. He's got a massive load. Here's the other end of the. This is the other end of the uh, construction. They've been held up now. So the basically the problem was the half the road on the other side was falling away. So it's basically one lane. It'll be well before they fix that. A truck driver just passed me, I'm doing 100, and he just flew past me. Speed limit's 100. He's obviously didn't like the idea of being held up at that last uh, construction site. I've just filled up with petrol and the way they do it here, you got to pay first. I paid $100, the petrol was $38 and supposedly I'll get uh, the, the difference put back into my account. It's better, I suppose it's the idea is in case people do runners I suppose, pay first anyway. So I just filled up with petrol and it was $1.64. Canadian, so it's probably about a dollar seventy Australian a litre, and he had to pay first. Paid a hundred hundred dollars, and it cost me thirty eight. So I get the rest back. I better anyway. Snow's getting heavier. Trying to wash the windscreen, but it keeps freezing. Also squirt. It's minus three degrees outside 
and every time I try and wash the windscreen it freezes we're almost there 1.9 kilometers to go uh, this is a hundred mile road kilometers to the hotel or oh, it's an inn and it's on the right hand side I think Desti 800 meters you will arrive at your destination oh, thank you meters. here we are at the Lakewood Inn and we are here and it's got a pub and a grill and here's the office just here. So I'm okay. I've just arrived at the Lakewood Inn, and I've got room 135, nice and close. And there's no stairs, which is good. This is 70, 73 dollars a night. And then of course you've got to add tax, so it makes it 80, 83 or something. Here we are in uh, room 135, you gave me the wrong key, you did. So just one night here, so I've just got a basic room, 80, $83 a night. Just a uh, toilet, it's got a bath, shower, very basic, double bed, that's all I need. Now we're going to get something to eat.